Hello everyone, it's Katie. Who wants to create a space that you love in your home? That's what today's video is all about for green cleaning. Um, yesterday I posted some recipes and some tips on your living spaces and today it was the bedroom. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm combining the video for my top tips in these two areas because it's a lot of the same things, okay? So we're going to go through three different products, three little hacks that I love to do in these areas to create warm and inviting spaces. And why do I like to do that? Hmm? Do you guys know why? Because I love my home to smell good. I love my home to have wonderful energy. If you followed along with anything else I've done, you know I'm really into energy and making sure my home feels warm and inviting. So if you're not quite sure what I'm talking about, how many times have you ever gone into a home and you're just like, it feels off. It's got too many smells going on. It just doesn't feel right. It's not warm and inviting and you don't feel welcome in that space. Well, I know exactly what kind of spaces those are and that's what I strive to create in my home that's not like that okay so today is all about green cleaning in our living room and our bedroom so we have warm and inviting spaces so not only when others come into our home but when we come into our home ourselves it is like this nice little sanctuary it's this beautiful space where we can create where we can feel warm we can feel welcome we can relax after a long day, day's work whatever that looks like and I'm gonna teach you how to do it completely toxin free okay you guys ready to see this okay so and the one thing I'm going to show you is we haven't talked about this this week and it's not really in the recipes, it's not really a hack or a tip, but it is diffusing essential oils. So this is one of my big ways that I make sure my home and my spaces are warm and inviting. So before doTERRA and before I understood what toxins did and how the role they played in our health, I was a candle queen. You guys, I had candles everywhere. I loved lighting candles. I loved making my home smell good with candles. I thought that was the way to make my home warm and inviting. And then I realized that all of those candles that I was putting in my home were actually making our family sick. And I would, you know, and it didn't surprise me actually when I learned that because I remembered how many times I often got headaches, right? So I would use a scent warmer or I would turn on a candle and the smell would be so over overpowering that I would get a headache. In fact, I went to a, sp um, a spa a couple of weeks ago and they didn't have natural things diffusing out into the air. Instead, they had a scent warmer and it actually gave me a headache almost immediately after arriving and it put, gave me, um, kind of ruined my entire experience because those toxins were in the air and my body's just not used to those chemicals anymore. But over and over again, I talked to so many people that say, candles, fragrances, all of those things, they give them headaches, makes you sneeze, makes your eyes get watery, whatever that looks like, right? You guys are with me, right? I wanna see some hearts, some love, if you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, so the first tip I have for your living spaces and your bedroom is to make sure you're using a diffuser. And I don't have this one turned in because I was trying to make it work for the um, work for the video today, but this is an essential oil diffuser for those of you that aren't sure what this is. And what this does is this actually puts the essential oils out into the air. It's one of the simplest ways to use essential oils every single person in the family can benefit okay so i'm not only teaching you green clean green cleaning this week but also how to be cost effective and essential oil diffusion is really cost effective in your home too because you can put four to five drops in this diffuser it's going to cover this entire room i have this big large room here i'm only putting four to five drops in that diffuser um, so maybe 20 to 30 maybe 50 cents worth of essential oils in this um in this diffuser and it's going to go for 10 hours and this entire room is going to be benefiting and every single person that walks into it so you can put in you get to mix and match the cool thing about diffusing is that you get to mix and match and choose exactly what kind of smells you want so right now it's springtime i want to have florally smells so i love doing two drops of lavender you guys catching me you guys got your pens and papers out two drops of lavender two drops of wild orange and two drops of ylang ylang and it smells like a lilac bush okay because it's spring and i want my house to smell good okay um sometimes i'll just do lemon or grapefruit whatever my mood is i get to switch it up with what essential oil that i have going on and that's going to actually create warm and inviting smells in my home and the cool thing about essential oils is that they're actually killing the airborne pathogens so they're not covering up 
the smells like you would get with a candle, they're actually going in and cleaning the air. And so not just making the air smell well, but cleaning it of all the germs and the ick to keep our family healthy and happy all year long, okay? So that's one of the biggest ways that I use essential oils in my home to green clean my spaces on a regular basis. So I'm not getting all those that ick out into the air each and every day by doing the candles anymore. I got rid of all the candles a long time ago as soon as I brought essential oils in and I realized the benefits of diffusing. So if you're um, really wanting to clean up your spaces and make your home warm and inviting, oh, there goes my next product I'm gonna talk about. You're gonna wanna get an essential oil diffuser and use these huge way to get the toxins out of your home, clean it up with the molds and all the all the stuff that might be going around, okay? So that's my number one tip for the living space and for the bedroom, okay? Now, my second one is carpet, okay? So I have three boys, I have a pet, I have a dog that's always running around, um, and so your carpets get dirty and your floors get dirty, and a lot of times that's where odors and smells are trapped, and you know, and then I've got the babies and the kids crawling around on the floor, so I wanna make sure that my floors are clean. And one of the ways I do that in, is, is I make my own carpet fresh. So did you guys ever use carpet fresh? And it would, again, gives you a headache, right? You want your carpet to smell good, um, but it gives you a headache. So um, super duper easy way to make carpet cleaner is you take a quart jar. Okay, you guys, I love ball canning jars. I use those a lot. Um, and you're gonna fill it with baking powder, okay? Simple as that. You fill this quart jar with baking soda. Um, you can get the shaker tops for the ball canning jars. Do you guys see that? It's like this. I think I got these Target, Walmart, I don't, you can find them everywhere now. But it's nice shaker top. If you don't wanna go that far, you guys, you can take a screwdriver and you can just pound holes in the top of the, um, in the top of the regular canning lid, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I fill this with baking soda and then I'm adding my essential oils of choice. So a lot of times I'll add On Guard Lemon. I switch it up um, and I'm gonna put about 20 drops. And I think this is actually in the recipes, um, but I'm only, I'm going to put like maybe 20, 25 drops and then I shake it up and I let this sit overnight, okay? So I at least let it sit for 24 hours overnight before I use it. And then what I do is before I'm gonna actually vacuum my carpet, I just sprinkle this all over the floors. That's all I do. I sprinkle it all over the floors. I let it sit for about 10 minutes, maybe 20 minutes, and then I vacuum it up. You guys, it's baking soda and essential oils. You don't have to worry if the kids are crawling around in it, whatever that looks like. Um, I vacuum it up and it makes the room smell amazing. If you have pets, here's my tip, is use geranium. Geranium is a great one that helps with pet odors as well. Also, if you have a canister vacuum cleaner, you can actually put the essential oils on a cotton ball and put it inside the canister and that'll keep that canister smelling nice and clean even when you have dog hair and pet hair and things like that, okay? So that's my second tip for keeping your living room and your bedroom nice and clean and fresh and smelling good um, and feeling that warm and inviting space. We wanna make sure the energy in all of our spaces is always really high and doing non-toxic cleaners and creating some of your own magic in them is a really easy way to do it. It's not that hard. Okay, so this is my third product I have and this is actually in your ebook as well. If you don't have your ebook copy yet, make sure that you click on the link that's gonna be in this video or you subscribe at e bit.ly backslash green clean ease and we're gonna send that all to you. Um, this is a linen spray, okay? So um, I think I talked about this in one of the other videos where I just get these spray bottles. They already have a label on them that you can just write on. Um, so if you don't wanna print out your own labels and things like that, you already have one that's ready to, you can just write on it with a magic marker or with a permanent marker. This linen spray I use for everything, okay? It's multi-purpose, and basically it is water, witch hazel, okay, and essential oils. That's it. You can mix and match the different essential oils. I love using lavender and peppermint. Um, you can use whatever you want in this spray bottle. You decide. I would say probably about five to six drops, maybe 10 drops of each. Um, if you do not have witch hazel, for my friends out there that may not have witch hazel, you can also use vodka, okay? You're just using the witch hazel or the vodka, whichever one you use, is basically, it's just an emulsifier so that the oils don't actually separate down in the little spray bottle. Um, hi Amanda, hi Brianne, I'm glad you guys are on joining me. Um, but this is our linen spray, okay? This I use in everything, 
you can just spray it out it makes everything smell really good so if you are going to freshen up you can just freshen up the couches okay you can spray it's just like a other spray um, chemical ones that you get you can use it in um, like when I change the sheets on the bed I'll spray the mattresses with that um, before I put the new sheets on you can do the pillows the couches um, any kind of your your clothes if you have a stinky shirt and you want to wear it I don't care put some linen spray on it so um, and we're gonna talk about cars later on I think it's in a couple of days we're gonna talk about cl green cleaning your cars and sprucing up your cars I actually use the linen spray on my floor mats too so I use that linen spray every day all over the place so that's why I combined these two days because this linen spray is really easy and you can use it in all areas of your home okay so linen spray is my biggest tip today we've got the carpet cleaner like this sprinkle it all over and then diffusing essential oils to make your living spaces warm and inviting um, we it's it's not only oh <laughs> Brianne says she needs an ASAP so Brianne lives right behind me do you want me to run it I'll send it over with one of my little couriers my little boys I'll send it over and you can try it Brianne um, so there is um, but our spaces are so important, not just keeping them clean, but making sure we have spaces that we can relax and that we can enjoy ourselves in. Um, a lot of us are working outside of the home. We've got kids. We're all around. We're watching. We're, we have crazy lives. We're all over the place and we need a nice, beautiful space to relax. And so use essential oils, to not just clean it up, but make sure your home is, smells good. It's warm. It's inviting. And it's a beautiful way um, for you you to have that relaxation so when people walk into your home they feel welcome they feel ready to come you're having creativity moments um, and it's just a beautiful way to keep your spaces so fall in love with your spaces this week your homes are beautiful spaces um, it doesn't take much to make them to beautify your space you don't have to have a lot of money to do that you don't have to live in a mansion you don't have to live in the perfect house you can make any space beautiful by just cleaning it up a little bit creating a beautiful little energy with it and using some essential oils so um, I hope you guys enjoyed those tips I would love to hear if you have any other recipes or anything please pop them in the comments we would love to hear from you um, this is just a beautiful week of green cleaning I'm excited to hear your feedback um, have you made the tile scrub or what have you revamped in your home and how are you feeling about that so I'll be back tomorrow with a few more videos on the closet and then we have the car as well so those are just going to be sweet little videos because I know we're going into a holiday weekend and everybody really wants to just kick back and relax and enjoy so Go out and make your homes fresh and green and clean and fall in love with your spaces. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.